Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Nisi. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing um, a little updated hair video. It's been a while. I think about two or three years since my very first YouTube video, which was me wanting my hair, how I do it, because I've always had so many questions. Um, but I've changed up a little bit of my routine, mainly the products, um, and I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys. So if you guys are interested how I have been able to style my hair and look like this, then just stay tuned. Alright, so just like my first, I guess, like original um, how I curl my hair video, I started off with my hair straight. Um, and it's not like super straight today because honestly I straightened my hair like two or three days ago and I'm a lazy biatch. So I just left it like that. It's a little bit like wavy-ish, a um, little chaotic because also I just woke up so I, I sleep crazy. Let's just not get into that. Um, but that doesn't matter as long as it's just like pretty much straight works out pretty fine sometimes I'll even air dry my hair and I won't braid it I'll just kind of like keep it down and keep brushing it so it kind of dries a little bit straighter as well so I'm not having to use as much heat but most of the products that I use to prep my hair I put in well in my hair while my hair is damp so I'm just going to show you those really quick because they do play a major part in like me curling my hair and it staying for days basically wash my hair brush it out you know put detangler in it, in it and everything and then once that's all sorted out i pretty much run through some bond fortifying hair leave-in cream this is so great the magic behind this it basically helps to keep your hair hydrated enhance shine and also repair damage and it repairs damage from heat from sleeping on it wrong uh, from brushing it wrong from environmental the sun all things so this has just truly been a game changer for me air dry cream so that my hair can air dry and not be as frizzy or just like tangly and crazy and then also some frizz fix because i live in florida it's super humid out here i also have really thick crazy hair that likes to get nice and big so these three together are my little gems stick those in there and then i just let my hair air dry so First thing we're gonna do, so now we're going to part my hair in half, top and bottom wise. All right, doesn't have to be cute because we're doing our hair so it can't be cute. Um, but I am gonna go in with some detangler and then some heat protectant. A few inches later. And then I'm just gonna divide my hair in half. <laughs> so much hair. Um, and I'm gonna go in with my brush, start from the bottom so you're not pulling and tugging it too hard. And I'm just gonna brush through. Alright, so I'm gonna start with one side first, so I'm gonna just clip this side away so I'm not like touching it or anything. So you guys can see I have too much hair. And I'm just gonna take sections that are about, again, one inch. Using a curling wand that's kind of similar to the one that I've had before. And I'm gonna start by... I basically start like from the ear down. I don't do the top part of my hair. Twirl it around, hold it here for about like 10, 15 seconds. And then I just let it drop. And that's the curl that we have there. And I'm just gonna let that sit. I'm not gonna touch any of these curls until afterwards. So I'm just gonna keep continuing it. This time I'm gonna alternate it too between curling it inward and then curling it outward. I think that's something that I've pretty much always done and I do that so that way the curls don't stick together or clump up together I should say. When I get towards the front pieces of my hair, um, I always curl them away. So I won't alternate it once I get towards the front. But it's usually just like the front two pieces. I'll just curl away. All right, so once I've done all of the sides, you guys see it's a little bit like crazy up here. So I'm gonna take a smaller brush or comb, whatever, um, and just kind of like comb through that. And I'm gonna take my straightener and kind of like run against the top so it Keeps it down. You could also use a straightener and just kind of like go over those pieces just a little bit. Um, but it, it works the same way, really. So like I said, I'm just going to leave these curls. I'm not gonna touch them, just gonna let them chill. And you do the other side. Here's 
all curled and I know that in my first video this is usually where I would just be like done I would kind of do a couple flips so that they would be a little bit more separated and more bigger and just leave it at that which I'm still gonna flip my hair let me just do that real quick a few moments later I still don't add hairspray but what I do add is this glossy shine mist because it just makes your curls a little bit more juicier so Shake it up, and I actually like to spray it directly in my hand so I have a little bit more control of it. And then I will just run, run it everywhere on the flyaways so it tames them, and then down here. And I will actually just spray the back part. And then it just gives it that extra oomph, as you guys can see on camera. This side just looks a little bit more juicy, and this side's just like, eh, meh. <laughs> So yeah, these are my curls, my hair. Honestly, this will stay in my hair for a few days. I don't even have to touch it up if I don't want to. Typically I do though. But yeah, that's it. If you guys like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what videos you guys want to see from me next. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.